teams, right? So there's a lot of areas that you can pick from. What's what's something that that popped out for you? Energy. We talked about it earlier in the game. Just the team just had so much energy, chasing after loose balls, having fun. It just maybe because there were older players on the team last year, but I just what really stood out is just the infectious energy coming from the players on the court and on the bench too. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. What do, you think, Jude? what do you think, Jude? Yeah, I mean, for me, I love the energy as well. And I think the reason that there was so much energy on the court is because everybody was sharing the ball and moving the ball. Um, I wrote down the beautiful game is back. Obviously, this isn't like, you know, 2014 championship levels of the beautiful game. But the idea of the beautiful game, the way that the Spurs play with constant ball movement, it was like if the ball stuck for just a little bit, you'd see DeJounte immediately swing it out to Derek and then they'd swing it around. Um, you know, the three point line. So it was just so fun to see that style of basketball and the emphasis on passing the ball and being unselfish back. I mean, that was, I feel like that's what led to the success. And that's what led to also having so much fun because when you do that, I mean, well, a lot of the fun was from defensive uh, turnovers that led to fast breaks. But when you're passing the ball like that, so many different cuts and opportunities. It was just the off ball movement. Everything was just great. So mm. once again, it's this magic team that had a lot of people out, but to see that these guys can be effective and can do that on the floor in an NBA setting um, is still a positive sign. Yeah. Shooting uh, 50% from the field and 43% from the three point line is, is pretty damn good. Right. So, you know, the shooting continues, the good shooting continues. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's spread and the wealth is spread throughout the team. Like you guys are saying the the energy is infectious. I have here in the second quarter, I wrote down hustle. I was like, man, this team is getting after in the second quarter. Right. Um, the bigs were a big low spot for me. I thought that, um, that drew Eubanks held his own against, against these guys. I thought that, um, you know, I'm gonna throw Keldon in that, in that mix too. Um, he ended up guarding the big quite a bit tonight off some off some switches and and stay, staying with cart was his name Car, carter jr what's his name yeah. cardell well, no, carter jr well, yeah. yeah he i mean he's tough man he's a tough dude to 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 bang with and keldon you know he was a huge goal st- glow spot tonight especially in that first half when kind of it took a little bit of took a, a little bit of time to get everybody on the same page keldon kind of did it ugly it wasn't really pretty how how keldon did it but he put together a nice first half i'm gonna read his his stat line here is 15 points and i think most of that work was done in the first half i think maybe he only got one or two buckets there in the second half so um keldon you know he he brought it tonight um but ultimately the the biggest glow spot was the power that comes from devin vassell and lonnie walker coming off the bench together i think to me going into the season i was figuring maybe bryn and lonnie come in together off the bench um and they do I, th- I think they do in this in the second quarter but man in that third quarter when when like you said rich you know i think the coaches kind of made that decision that lonnie i mean that Bryn just wasn't really on tonight and they went with lonnie and vassell and they checked them in the game at the same time oh my god that was amazing the game changed the pulse changed in the arena and 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 we set it on fire man and we put we put up 33 points uh, I, was, I think that was our best quarter yeah that was our best quarter of the night there uh, so that's a huge glow spot for me because I was kind of worried about the third quarter against Houston last uh, in the final preseason game. Y'all got anything else on the glow spot? Yeah, I mean, I think that that third quarter run, like you mentioned, that was really when Vassell, you know, started doing really well. But even in the first half, when you saw um, Lonnie and him come in off the bench at the same time, you could feel their presence on the floor. And even though they started off a little slow as the game progressed, you started seeing Lonnie hit more threes and you started seeing Devin dominating the game and you saw both of them screaming and yelling. And when you feel the momentum from those two guys, it's like, Oh, that's two other elements that you didn't see last year. Um, I mean, we saw it in flashes, but we didn't see it in its full potential. Like we saw it tonight. I also want to add to the glow spot. Last year, I think our team was doing a lot of standing around waiting for DeMar DeRozan to do something with a lot of ISO plays, and now everybody's getting involved. And when everybody's getting involved, they're having fun, and get everybody's getting a chance to shoot instead of just, all right, I'm just going to stand here and watch him try to do something. And I think that helps, helps a lot. Yeah, because a lot of these guys have that playmaking make- ability, Rich, yeah, where, like, you know, if, if you're moving – we're going to find you like Doug is very unselfish. Jakob is a great passer. Um, we all know DeJounte and Derek can run an offense like nobody's business, right? Uh, Lonnie got to show off his, his playmaking too. And Lonnie, yeah, yeah. He was here on my glow spot too. Just, I have here 
Lonnie's awake. He's alive. <laughs> I was like, you know, we've been waiting for Lonnie to kind of have this game, you know, where, where he kind of shows out and it's always kind of like nerve when he checks in the game. I'm like, oh man, please, Lonnie, have a great game. You know, don't have one of those games where exactly where he's just sluggish up and down the floor and it takes a while. And he doesn't get it together. No, like he got some run in. He he was aggressive early and then it carried on. Lonnie finished with with 17 tonight was a plus 26 in the box score. Like, I don't even wow. know how that happens. Devin Vassell was your plus 24 with 19 points. I don't know how that, those are, those gotta be like anomalies, right? Like to the stat nerds out there, but like a plus 26 and a plus 24, you know, uh, that's pretty amazing, man. So, so that little combo off the bench was huge tonight. All right, yeah. guys. Didn't, All right. Didn't make too many mistakes. <laughs> No, it's good. No, I know that's good, and that that's that's how you stay on the floor. You know, like did y'all see Pop chew out KBD? Yes, yes, yes. Che no. Pop, Pop chewed him out like in the fourth. It was like the game was over mm -hmm. and everything, and and he did something, and man, Pop was ripping him, and and when they were showing them on the bench right after that, you know, KBD was like, "Yeah, my bad. That was on me. That was on me." Um, and then he was back out on the floor, and then he hit he hit a three, I think, shortly after that. Right, so like. Yeah. Um, very coachable dudes here, man, in San Antonio.